Men will freak anything that comes from the gender who uses cucumbers, carrots, TV remotes, water bottles, knives, corn, and 17 different toys and a water faucet to masturbate. <laughs> water bottles and knives? Are you sure, bro? That's how you know that incels don't have an argument. This is the stuff that they're complaining about, stuff that's not even true. And what, is it better to have the mindset of an incel and be like, oh no, I hate all women, they're all crap, and treat them all awfully? That's it's downright delusional and I'm sure we're going to see a lot of that today. Guys, welcome back. Hope you're having a great day so far. Thank you so much for tuning back in. Incels! Dun, dun, dun! <laughs> the people that very few people dare to look at. <laughs> Today, we're checking out incel tier. I can't wait. It's going to be a good one. These videos can be pretty brutal, and I'm going to try my best to keep it positive, as I do. But at the end of this video, we'll check out some Made Me Smile to take our minds off incels. Sounds like a plan, guys. Hope you're doing great. It's a beautiful Wednesday morning here. I'm doing awesome. I've just passed three months on this channel, which is ridiculous. I'm just making the most of it. It's really great. All right, guys, let's get terrified with some incels. I feel bad for this woman. I'm sure this incel is going to make it so freaking uncomfortable for her. I hope he does make life uncomfortable for her as much as possible. Oh, honey, don't call yourself an involuntary celibate if you're going to voluntarily be such a useless piece of crap. <laughs> yeah, there's nothing involuntary about incels. They're trying their hardest to be as awful as they possibly can. Seems like they're pretty aware of what they're doing. No, it's all involuntary. I'm a victim okay? <laughs> that means I can just treat women really awfully. No, it doesn't. <laughs> There's no excuses to act like this. I bet he's thinking about other girls. If incels hate women so much, why do they want one? <laughs> Legit, I don't know. And I don't think incels know. Like, I feel like they're just very confused people. Top comment here. Well, long story short, incels were just like nice guys in a few ways. Infatuation with women, putting them on a pedestal, and doing things to get dates and sex with women, as if dating or hookups are a step-by-step -step procedure rather than a connection based on compatibility. But most of all, the reason incels hate women is one word, rejection. Rejection happens to everybody in the planet. Nice guys and incels don't understand it. They're confused and entitled and fragile that rejection creates this outlandish mindset and negative attitude because they don't understand it. They aren't aware of how normal rejection is. They get corrupted and let rejection control their life. They'll stop doing things that make them happy because they got rejected by one too many girls and will end up getting angry and posting all the crap online that incels post. So so basically, the reason nice guys, neckbeards, incels, MGTOWs hate women because they're infatuated and angry that they get rejected because they don't know how to handle it. They're mad at women for not dating slash hooking up with them. Yeah, well said. I think a lot of these guys just worry way too much about this sort of stuff. They take everything really personally as well. Like, everybody gets rejected, you know, but not everybody turns into an incel. And not everything is so extreme. I feel like these guys are like, oh, if I get rejected one more time, I swear to God, I'm never talking to a woman ever again. I'm going to give up on all women. Like, dude, no, you can't have that mindset. One of their biggest issues is they think of women as being all the same. And if you think of anybody as being all the same, you're automatically wrong, bro. And also, why does that have to make you angry? Why can't you just learn and move on like a normal person? You know, I can imagine an incel watching this video right now and getting angry at the stuff I'm saying. Like, dude, you don't need to get so angry. <laughs> Chad doesn't exist outside of your brains. Change my mind. I've been saying this since the start of this channel. Chad is not real. Chad is a made up excuse that incels put in their heads to justify them treating women awfully. <laughs> also, do we have any Chads at home right now? Can you leave a comment down below if your name actually is Chad? <laughs> There's just one guy named Chad. He's just always in a relationship. <laughs> and it's just this one guy that all these incels are talking about. I hate Chad so much. He has so much more luck with the ladies. We must date Chad. We must exterminate incel. We must lie to incel about wanting to frick Chad. Incel must die. Must have babies with Chad. <laughs> Apparently Apparently this is the mind of a woman. <laughs> we must date Chad. <laughs> must eat hot chip. That's exactly right. All women do is eat hot chips and lie. <laughs> God damn it, they're all the same. Every woman on earth, that's exactly what they think, is it? We must date Chad. We must exterminate incel. See what I mean? They love playing the victim, don't they? Like, oh, don't pick on me. I did nothing wrong. And then five minutes later, they're saying this awful stuff about people. I know you don't want to take responsibility, but you're going to have to one day. I've educated my sons to avoid women 
whenever possible and not to engage with them when they can't be avoided. No woman can be of any help to a man, but she can ruin his life with an unsubstantiated claim from 20 years ago. Please don't talk to me about how women do all of the emotional labor. What a crock of crap that is. Since there is a huge liability and no upside, it's best to avoid them as much as possible. These are the ones that actually freak me out. The parent incels that are passing this way of thinking onto their kids. What are you doing, man? Stop it. Like this comment here. There's some hope in their teen years, they'll realize how much of a sad, angry loser their dad is, and they'll just meet girls behind his back. And that's assuming this incel actually managed to successfully close them off to 50% of the population. Yeah. It's really sad, and it's really selfish too. But there is still hope. The unfortunate truth. He's got to be six foot, make six figures, and a solid 10 out of 10. If she's a girl who's nice to me, I'll take it. More like if she has a heartbeat and a JJ. Whoa, yikes, sweetie. You can only pick one. Can you pick one? Oh, God. <laughs> and this was under incel logic. The one thing that incels don't have, they remind me of being in a cult. They remind me of the movementarians. It's like they're brainwashed into this way of thinking. And no matter what the situation is, they just resort back to thinking like this. They probably know deep down that what they're saying makes absolutely no sense, but they just have like 100% belief in what they're saying. And do I even need to say it? Like all women, all they want is a six foot guy that makes six figures and a solid 10 out of a 10. A Chad. Chad isn't real. This is not true. Dear incels, you are not sex starved. You will not die from a lack of sex. You are lonely and experience fear of missing out. That's all. Yeah, I haven't read a lot of posts yet of incels saying that they're sex starved, but apparently it happens a lot. They make it out like their issues are so awful, when in reality, they're all self-inflicted. They act like they're the victims, but they're the ones who are ruining their own lives. Here we have a lesson for incels, how to handle rejection. And it was stolen from off my chest. I asked a girl out for the first time and I got rejected. I'm 22, I've never asked a girl out in my whole life. I only had one relationship before that that lasted two and a half years with a girl who was so sweet, but turned to something completely different. She initiated everything in that relationship. I just never built up the courage to talk to a girl. After my gore breakup with my first and only ever girlfriend, I spent about seven months recovering. I'm a very emotional and physical person. I don't care for sexual interactions. I just want to feel loved and cared for. Today, I asked a girl out for my first time. She rejected me and she said she was busy, but she was nice about it. I'm not sad that I got rejected. I was expecting it, lol. However, I am happy that I finally got brave enough and actually did it. I never felt so awkward or so scared in my life and I'm usually very brave and outgoing. I didn't know who to talk to about this, especially that my friends advised me to not ask anyone out because single men together strong, lol. I felt like I wanted to drop this here. I don't regret anything and I'm looking forward to the future. Thank you for taking the time to read my post. Exactly. Be mature about it. Find the positive. Yeah, you got rejected, but that's okay. You're bound to get rejected. It's not easy to find the person that you're going to spend your life with. That's such an awesome attitude. Well done, dude. And also, if you want to put yourself out there and it's making you more confident, do it. Don't listen to your friends that say single men together strong. <laughs> if your friends aren't encouraging you to do the thing that you want to do, then they're probably not good friends. That's awesome. I love that and I hope an incel reads that and changes their life. I feel emasculated by my mother working. My mother started working when I was in middle school. Previously, my dad was the sole provider for the family. We didn't really need the money, but she wanted to work. I feel very emasculated by this since in working, she's emasculating my father, depriving him of his sole provider role and to emasculate my father is to emasculate me by proxy. <laughs> oh my God. The lengths that these guys will go to. Listen, man, the only person that's making you feel like this is you. It has nothing to do with your mum. It has nothing to do with her working. It has nothing to do with your dad being emasculated. You are making yourself think like this. This is ridiculous. Like this comment here, the sheer determination to blame anyone or anything other than themselves is spectacular. The mix of stupidity and obliviousness is utterly breathtaking. Don't blame your mum for making you feel emasculated, bro. <laughs> this sounds like a you problem that you're not willing to fix. I wish you die a horrible death. Well, I wish you a long involuntary celibate life. After the revolution, you soys and cucks will be executed and I won't be taking this incel crap. You cucks can't force me to stay incel. Just cope, lol. I will do whatever it takes to lose my virginity, including, you know what? Go to an escort, you idiot. Yeah, oh my God, like this top comment. After the revolution, you soys and cucks will be executed. Gosh golly, what are we gonna do once incels manage to take over all their parents' basements? <laughs> These incels can't like living like this, so I don't know why they do it to themselves. Change your life, incels. There should be a site called Dying to be Killed, where incels post the amount of foids they have offered in their profiles, and then members of the public can like or dislike on their methods of execution and body count. And the title says, Just Lonely Virgins, guys. <laughs> yeah, sure, 
sure, go right ahead and make your side, but don't be surprised when law enforcement comes calling and holds up all the evidence you provided of your own free will. That's exactly right. You can't just go around saying stuff like this. Dude, every single post that made me smile subreddit is looking better and better. Speaking of ding dong pics, women need to get used to being recorded during sex. They will take thousands of pictures, hundreds of videos on TikTok and IG every day, but when you pull out your phone during sex, they're suddenly camera shy. I've had women take my phone, throw it under the bed, all kinds of shenanigans. Get over it, please. <laughs> oh my god, what's wrong with you, bro? Have you ever heard of consent? <laughs> no, I'm an incel, I'm a man, I'm right, and I will always be right, and you will do what I say. Let's do one more post, and then we'll do the made me smile. Incels, I fear no man, but that thing, a woman's right to choose, it scares me. Let's just say these guys have a lot of issues to work through. Let's end this video on a positive note with some made me smile. Someone call the vet, because my kitten's sick AF. That's so damn cute. I wish Chico could skate. <laughs> damn it, I'm going to have to teach him. Dolphins love interacting with pregnant women because they communicate by ultrasound. Besides mum's heartbeat, they can also feel baby's heartbeat. They find it fascinating. Are you serious? No way. You learn something every day, don't you? That's incredible. I feel better already. I've already forgotten about incels. Dog sneaks out of kennel at night to comfort crying puppies. We don't deserve dogs. No, we don't, do we? <laughs> all they do is love. They give you unconditional love and that's all they give you. There's a TV show in Iceland called Keeping Up with the Katashians. It's a 24-hour live broadcast of cats in a tiny model house. Oh my god, I'm gonna get out of here and watch that right now. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I try my best to keep these videos as positive as possible and I know it's really hard when you're reading out incels. So in these sorts of videos that are hard to get through, at the end, I'm gonna finish them with Made Me Smile. I don't wanna stop doing the incel videos. I love them. But also, I don't wanna be negative. So I think that's a good plan. Thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you smash like, make sure you subscribe and leave a comment down below what you thought. All that sort of engagement really helps my videos get promoted to other people and get my videos seen and help the channel grow. So if you could do that, it'd mean the world to me. You guys are already incredible at that. So thank you. Because I think it really does help. The channel is doing really well. We're killing it over here, guys. I love this channel. All right. Today's comment of the day goes to Frank the Fish Farmer. Me, sad noises. This pops up in my recommended. Me, happy noises. <laughs> Comments like that make me so happy. It's insane that anybody likes my videos. I try not to think about it because it makes me overwhelmed. But the thought that over 27,000 people are watching my videos makes me a little bit terrified. But at the same time, it makes me very happy. So thank you all for being here. Guys, I appreciate you all so much. Follow me on Instagram if you haven't already and have a lovely rest of your day. Have a lovely night. And I'll see you tomorrow at the exact same time with two brand new videos. I'll see you then.